episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans, guys. Um, we're going to do radiator, well, we're going to do radiator shenanigans today and um, AC condenser. So, go ahead, get everything set up. We're going to be taking the radiator out, then the condenser that we screwed up out, new condenser in. Put the radiator back in and then actually get this plastic piece put on and then we can call it good take some measurements of what we're going to need for radiator hoses maybe go into town and grab those this evening and then uncle kyle will join us later on when he gets off work i've got a dry day today i can't believe it middle of the week and i've got a day off it's been a long time since this happened so let's get started Fucking just pissing everywhere. All right, now that we got the radiator out. Mop up a little bit of ATF here. You don't want to leave that on your paint. That'll screw it up. Um, so yeah, we got the... Got the dang radiator out. Now we can get the... Condenser. It's a 10. <laughs> Freaking one, huh? Two. Yep. Get this damn pump that's been fighting us every step of the way. Out of here. Gaskets look good. The O-rings look good. Now I can bolt up my Super duty pump. Big Virginia. Alright. Put that nut off. Come on. Top one's got the black plastic cap. Bottom one is dirt. Not very flexy. So we hit it pretty good when we pulled the engine. Remi rem reminder here, if you guys are new to the channel. We couldn't get the torque converter unbolted from the flywheel because of the fact the engine was seized up. Because it was seized, so we couldn't get the nuts off the uh, torque converter because it couldn't move. So we should have pulled that. Um, if you guys are having the same issue with the seized Triton um, that won't spin, um, go ahead and take your condenser out so that way if it does slide forward and your engine mounts need to come off I didn't take my engine mounts off so what happened was it slid forward out of the transmission and then we had it sideways in here and it rocked and when it rocked <laughs> put the engine right where is it right whoop, whoop, right here mount hit Just curve that sucker. What have we been calling it? Fubard. Just fubard the hell out of it. So it's a good time to clean that up if you wanted to. I'm not going to. It does not look that dirty. But 
guessing that's trans cooler right there I'm looking at. Trans cooler, one of them are trans cooler. Looks like this side, that's the trans cooler. We might have to do an upgrade on that. All right, let me go get the new parts. All right, here we go. We got a new condenser. Um, I can't remember where I found this on eBay, but uh, 60 bucks. Look at that. Pretty. I think this condenser was used from 97 to 04 or something like that, or 05. Um, well maybe it was 06. Actually, it was like all the way to here, it was 06, is what it was saying online. I don't know what these studs just threw out. They just came out of the box. I don't, maybe for the newer ones. They just pulled right off the top of that one. So let's get something to cut this open. All right. You want to be careful you don't damage this. So those mounts that I just took off of the old one should just pop right back on. Yep. We'll do that once in the vehicle. We got over here. Got a little baggie with nothing in it. This one's painted. I don't know if that's gonna hurt the um, performance or not. Look at that. They even put two new O-rings and they put these cool caps on there. So we'll take those out once we're in the, uh, the truck. Let's go ahead and venture on back over there. Just goes down those rubber boots at the bottom. Yep, just like that. I'm gonna get a, yep. 14. Okay. Well, they air test these. Did you hear the air came out of that? Interesting. They, they ship it with air. They come pre-charged with a little bit of air to let you know that, hey, look, guys, I'm working. Also, note to self, these are just rubber plugs that they put in. They didn't actually send me new gaskets. That's gay. I think, anyway. Unless these pop, the centers pop out of them. So, guys, if you're ordering a new condenser, make sure you don't just have two rubber plugs sitting in there holding air, compressed air. I think this is what we just got. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and looks like the uh, o rings on this look great go ahead and slide this one back in oh the studs guys are for the <laughs> idiot so i'm looking it over guys these two studs that come in the box they're for the the condenser i'm going to measure these real quick and make sure they're the same size i don't stud in way the upper stud in Slide our new, our old line on our, onto our new condenser. Put the nut on. Bad. Let's give it a little, just a real guy. Just not a big guy, just a real guy. That's all she probably should take. Just a, just a light dink dink. All right, now we can put on our upper mounts. Put that mount in. So guys, this $60 condenser off of eBay is so far meeting up to its four and a half or five star standard that it had. Yeah, it's in there, it's tight. Down in the rubber mounts, 
fit just, dude. She's good. Look at that. Time for the radiator. I don't like that lower radiator hose. I've got to figure out what we're doing with this. Hold please. Work on getting this radiator hose off so that we can get something else going on for the um, lower radiator hose needs to go basically out of the radiator and go that way over here. All right guys, so looking at this damn ugh, monstrosity of a freaking setup here. There's there's lettering here to remove to remove end bend back tab radiator hose 45 pull apart. So, I'm looking up here's a tab. I need a flat bladed screwdriver. Bend back to, that's a first one. Bend back tab. For once, I'm doing this the right way. It's not in the damn truck. Bend back tab. Bends. If it was in the vehicle, the, the tab's on this side, so it's towards the driver's side on, the, on this side of the tank over here. I don't know if you guys can see me. Is that tab is located over here. The radiator was in the truck. You would have a little bit of a hard time, but. So I bent back the tab, rotate 45, and pull apart. Ugh, that will not spin. So after, so after fiddling around with it, I got a smaller pipe wrench here. And um, there's a line, and I'm guessing that line has to be careful of your transmission. That line goes all the way back where you bent the tab. No, still nothing. Well, we'll keep. I don't know, Ford. This was kind of dumb. What happened to a good old fashioned radiator hose and clamps? You gonna send me a new radiator when I fuck this one up? So guys, what ended up happening, I just, I, I spun it around to that white line was over at the tab. I put my foot really gently on the radiator right there and I lift it up and she pulled right off. Um, so it is a locking, it's like a, it's got four grooves, it slides on and then it locks down at a 45 and then you bend that tab to keep it from rotating out and blowing off. Now that we got that thing off, um, we're going to be using that piece, but we're going to probably end up having to get the hose and building that piece because it's going to be in a different location. Not 100%. We're just going to block this out because we're going to have to build a 90 off of that, go down the radiator to the other side, 90 back, and then 90 also back to the block. So for right now, let's just get this mounted in because that stupid end on this isn't going back on there. There's enough lip on there. I'm going to put a hose and a clamp and try it. What do we have to lose at this point? We need to try and make sure because that'll be more serviceable with a clamp and then that stupid. I, I couldn't imagine the poor sucker on the side of the road that has blown one of those hoses and had to change it. Bending that tab and figuring that out without the internet. It, holy shit, I need an aspirin. Like, wow. And we're pissed. Guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the drain valve because, uh, you know, that, that'd be a good thing to do, right? Okay. So we got our upper mounting metal brackets. Luckily, look what I did three or four months ago when we started the project. Kept the bolts in a bag. Tighten that guy down. Secured. Check it, wiggle it, look how tight that is. All right, so next we're gonna put, let's put the plastic beauty piece up on the top here. And our beautiful plastic piece is back in and installed. It's got all the 4.6 liter shit on it, so, and belt direction. 
All right, guys, back from the parts store. Just kind of wanted to work on things and not explain things for a little bit. This is the piece that come, remember this came off the reservoir and it had the two crimped ends on them. These stupid ends. Well, you could see what was, I just cut those ends off. They popped right off. Now I'm taking my 90 off the radiator, pushing it on there. I'm gonna clamp it. We're gonna put a boot on this side. And then if you look over here, went to the steel yard and picked up a pipe. I went five feet. Five feet of aluminum pipe should be plenty for what we've got going on. So this is gonna be an update video. This portion, well, I don't know yet. I'm just building this as I go. But 90 off the radiator, this is perfect fit. It's gonna work. We're gonna be able to use that coolant recovery tank. So I'm stoked. And we're gonna eliminate that stupid clamp. This is just gonna, you know, bloop, done. Wouldn't be Central Oregon shenanigans without shenanigans. What do you got going on there? Mingling. Barely lifted off the deck. Oh, you gonna give me some, give me some shenanigans footage? Right yeah. What, did they miscount or something? Huh? Did they miscount? Why do you have these ones down here? No, you get 75 to a bundle and I wanted 85. Well, there you have it. God, swing load. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh man, I think you just crushed the uh, fender. There's that mouse. guys so believe it or not this has been a whole day of going and measuring into town to buy parts coming back oh yeah I forgot this blah 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 so um, I've actually got a lot done today um, burp radiators in transmission cooler lines are hooked back up as you saw the condensers in we got the beauty plastic back on um, so what I we, we were just talking about the uh, clamps on the old hoses. I've got that built. I got it built and it's in here. So I went 90 off over to this plastic T. Got it over that. Got a clamp on here, guys. Um, I got to pull that back off. Put a clamp onto the radiator. This is running up to the tank. Now we're gonna. We went to. I went to um, the steel yard that I talk about every once in a while, and got. Aluminum and it fits perfectly. No corrosion, no you know, nothing to worry about there. So take the aluminum. I've got it marked out here. We're gonna cut that down. That'll be our extension over to the other side. Then we'll 90 off that and then 90 back into the engine. You're using a device like mine make sure you get all that crap out of that you don't want that in your coolant system
the way it'll wipe out your new pump right off the bat. Just, just throw some aluminum shavings down there. Once I get my 90 on there, yeah, put a nice rubber straight piece there, 90, 90 back. Okay, so I tried something new. I was cutting with a razor blade on these these new heater hose, uh, the coolant hoses, the low radiator hose that I'm building. God, I hate this lighting. There we go. So I used the piranha to cut that rubber, just hold, holding my breath because it stunk, you know, it was smoky. What a cut. So come check this out. I'm, I had to, you know, it was one of those things I had to turn the camera off, put it together, then show you. So coming off... The radiator down here, 90, to the factory T, that goes up to the coolant box. Then we got um, some of the, I used to, I, I recycled some of the hose that came off the T. Got that new piece of aluminum that goes over here to a 90-ish. There's another piece of aluminum here, then a 90 into a bell, or actually, um, so it goes in uh, inch and three quarter comes out aluminum to I guess you could call it a reducer from two and a half to th one and three quarter so it goes into the two and then into the engine success Look at that how cool is that guys and look at how much room I still have in between the radiator and that and the pulley in that we're golden all right guys so that's the upper radiator hose off the Triton motor, believe it or not. I got it to bend. I cut a little bit off with the piranha. It's laying over there on the floor. It makes a good cut on hoses. So, um... Probably get away with putting a spring in there. And we're just, just sending that. I mean, that's almost perfect. It's got a little bit of kink there. Feels good. I ain't gonna lie. Got the new thermostat. Therm the new thermostat's in there. New gasket. We're almost ready to do a, like a 30 minute run on it. Just get, you know, get some cooling in there because we want to flush it anyway. So, well, I have to get the heater, rear heater core hooked up then. I don't have the heater cores hooked up yet. So, that's gonna be our next step. It's going to be basically, um, speaking of Kyle. Well, guys, we got to stop talking shit about this guy right here because he's here. Yeah, you do. Oh, fucking dick bag. So, you're probably gonna be like, "What the fuck did you do all day?" But I ran. In, I, this is my third trip back out here. Yeah, what the fuck do you do all day, dude? Like all I see is a bunch of cut up rubber hose and some fucking stainless steel pipe. <laughs> I'm gonna try again. Well, oh, you got aluminum. <laughs> Where did you find that? Swift steel. <laughs> right size? Right off the fresh, big... You want to take a whack of what I paid for a five-foot piece of that? Five feet? Yeah. <laughs> Is that their minimum? No, I just... You don't want to get out here and be like, well, I fucked this one well, up. You're going to rip back into town, but how many times do you go back into town? Yeah, but <laughs> that was for other things, though. Uh oh So... How's it look? Well, let Uncle Kyle, I've been in entertaining you guys all day, so now that he's here, I'll let him uh, entertain you while he's playing with things. I think we'll be shorting that down. Stick it on the prana and shorten it down. Why can't it just come out of the side of the block like it's supposed to? 
I don't know. It's got to come straight the fuck up. No. I think that if we took, we'd need another 90, which we could use this piece. I'd, I'd get two 90s. To go here. So even if we took that pipe, went here, went straight out, and then straight, you know, for the other 90. Yep. Right there. That would work out good. The pump is going to be at our door tomorrow, guys. Like, this is months down. <laughs> down for you guys right now. Yeah. Because I have no idea when our release date is. We need more hose clamps. I have 60 bucks on hoses just to cut them up. <laughs> so, glad you guys found us. We are on our own channel now. And go ahead and pump the guts out of that subscribe button. Comment down below. And we'll catch you next time. Do you want to add anything? Oh, no, like this video. Do not dislike this video. No, like this video. That's all you got to do.